braid. This incredibly visible material has become a very popular cider material. It's easily seen. Also, it's easily colored. You can band this with a permanent marker to give you nice contrasting points. The other thing is it's no stretch properties really adds sensitivity, but I don't use braid for the reasons I'm going to be explaining to you shortly. So when I'm looking through a lot of the flies I typically use, this is kind of my day-to-day -day working operational box, just a bunch of smaller flies, more like 16 and 18s. Definitely there are times where I'm still throwing the egg pattern, but you know, a lot of my typical nymphs, 16s, 18s, and with the European style, often I'm fishing a 2.5, sometimes a 3.0, but more or less a 2.5, all the way down to a, a 2.0 millimeter bead. So not much weight. And this is why I still use nylon, colored nylon from manufacturers as my primary cider material. And the reason why is this nylon has very little mass. And to explain this is that when you have little weight on the business end, there's very little pull, very little mass pulling in this direction. And when you have a light weight system, light leader, light tippet, and a light cider where you don't have much mass, this lightly weighted single fly, maybe two flies if you decide to use, that's still going to be enough weight on this business end to keep your cider pulling and keep this under some degree of tension and where you have control. There's not going to be really any sag, so to speak. But what's going to happen is that if you're fishing lightweight flies and all of a sudden you use cider, cider just in general, this is 15 pound test backing material that you can be, that can be used for cider material. But when you look at this, even compared to typical nylon, this has got a lot more mass. You can see how this automatically wants to belly. This right here, just alone by itself, without coming in contact with any elements, as I'll explain here in just a moment, there's not enough weight within this fly itself to kind of keep this cider under tension. And as a result, this belly that's forming with this cider is actually going to be enough of a counterweight to pull your lightly weighted fly or lightly weighted rig out of the water. And to make matters worse, what's going to happen when all of a sudden this braid that you're fishing as your cider with a lighter weight rig starts coming in contact with the stream? Braid itself, its properties that you're fishing, this is 15 pound test braid that is used for backing. But the moment you put this in contact with water, it's going to absorb water. It's going to add mass to your cider. And the best way you can think about this is visualize a clothesline hanger. If you've ever hung clothes before, wet clothes are heavier by design. As soon as water gets into the fabric itself, it's going to add that mass. So when you add these, basically these wet clothes onto a clothesline hanger, it really droops. It creates a lot of sag. And if you've ever noticed, as soon as the clothes start drying, you'll see how the clothes actually will start lifting up because there's less mass pulling on the clothesline hanger. The same thing's going to happen once you put your cider in contact with water. Again, braid by itself right here is going to add some mass, but it's, it's not going to often be too detrimental with lighter weight flies. But the moment, the moment it comes in contact with the water, it's going to absorb that water, like right here. And as soon as I try to hold that cider off the water, that mass right there, that water absorbing into that material is going to create a major sag. And you can see right there, just that little mass that's pulling down, just this little loop right here, that's gonna be enough mass pulling down on the rig. It's going to lift your lighter weight flies off the bottom and it's going to completely kill your presentation. And a lot of times people will talk about like, 
why am I not feeling like I'm in contact? Why am I not feeling like I'm in control of my presentation? And I have found one of the biggest causes is the type of cider material that you're using. Specifically, if you're using braided cider, that braided cider, once it gets wet, is going to just kill your presentation when you're fishing lighter white flies, just because of the weight distribution being pulled in the opposite direction in which your flies are trying to drop. Now, let me point out, this is not critical. If you're fishing heavily weighted mop flies, and once your mop fly gets wet, right here, for example, there's gonna be enough weight, there's gonna be enough mass pulling down the business end where it's going to keep this braided cider under tension and under some slight degree of tension where sag's not going to occur. But the moment you switch to a lighter weight fly with braid, that weighted braid right there is going to lift and it's going to destroy your presentation. So hence, these are the reasons why I don't use braid and why I just stick still to a nylon cider. It's not as visible as braid, but it's going to give you far less sag and it's going to give you a lot more connection with your nymphs.